With his defeat against the Rebels behind him, can Mr York push harder to secure more of the map? Let's find out. Oh, and he's brought his army out as well, but he realises I'm a bad thing. Let's bring these warrior monks down. I think we'll pull him into there. Oh no, they can, can they push him? If I... I need to keep a unit there, don't I? Uh, you do, yes. Uh, oh yeah, I'd definitely so go for Sado because... they've got one unit there. So yeah, I mean, because they've built a castle as well, so... Okay, so we've got our embassy. Where do we want to go? To, you, need, you need him to find uh, the greens. Yeah, so he's, where is he? Is he there? Uh, send him down to where one of your ports is, because then I would send him right over to the other side of where the map. Where did he go? Where did he go? Your emissary's there. Is he? Yeah, that's... No, he's not. Oh, is he not? I've no. clicked him somewhere and he's gone. No, he's buggered up. No, I don't know where he's gone. He'll turn yeah, up next he'll time. He'll turn up. Right, let's just do He'll show up. He'll be fine. Right, we've got armies to galore now. We're yeah, ready. so We're now, ready. We're yeah, so ready. now realistically the push is on to uh, here. Heda. Yeah, it's gonna be a big one that is. We'll just see where that embassy's gone. See what bring these units down. I'm gonna have to bring some more crack units against these yeah, rebels. Are. These rebels are highly trained rebels. Oh, improve Farvland. Okay, yep. So uh, now look at. Can I automatic resolve? I, that? Yeah, arguably I'd say you could. Have, yeah, if yeah. that was defeat. Yeah, yeah, if that, <laughs> if that was, which. Has happened in the past on like you know expert oh, games. General promoted as well. Nice. Yeah. So I'm just uh, right. Look at just bring in these. Yeah. Just fine. to like make this army a little tidy, bit bigger. Yeah, things up. Uh, drop these out of here. Wow. It's just so we've got a nice army because I think I attacked them with a. I need a port here to drop just so I can actually. Yeah. What's the income here? Um, I, I, I think we will. Okay, I think fair next fair. Turn. Uh, uh, yeah, but make sure you've sorted out your improved farmlands in Mitsu and Dua because yeah, yeah forty. Oh, we're gonna yeah, be in it. Yeah, they are. They are the really, really high level. I don't know what, what what's Echigo's like. You've left Echigo open, by the way. Oh. Have I? Um, it's not, no, to be fair, no one can actually. No one can actually attack it. This but turn. also, get make sure you get a castle and a port in there. Okay, we might as well build that next. And it? yeah, and 60 percent improved farmland, I'd say. I think Echigo is quite good. For I think farm. we're going to be pushing on this uh, Hydra. Yeah, you are going to have to pu push on Hydra at some point. But I don't know if they're assuming you might. Should we play one more? Where's my? Where did my? Uh... Well, you've not ended your turn yet. Yeah, where, so... did, where did my um, thing go? I don't know. Where... Well, we're in turn here. See if we, he pops up. Yeah. Oh no, he's there. Look. Oh, there he is. There he is. No, so, so send him, him, send him down here, and then we can go to the yeah, then we go to the southern map. Right, so so to Tumi, to Tumi, fortress. Man, they there's embassies he, all over the place. He is the f at some point going to attack you. So, oh, look at that, Talk from farmland. <laughs> Oh no! No! This get is, out of get it! Get out of it! They've just bloody bl bloody foreigners! <laughs> oh, I can't go really go very much you to can. here. Um, no, I, yeah, bingo, or you just need to find. Let's go bingo. Yeah, you just need to find um, Shimoza's or the Greens. Okay, take two on the. Let's do a bit of. Uh, We've got warrior monks, we can start bringing these guys back. And we've got, I've got, oh, we can bring them to the fort, or to the front lines. So, do we go for it? I think um, we, all we need to do is take one province, which would this Okay, point. so remember that if you empty both of those into Hida, which is a, which I think is a good idea, I think we're gonna but that means Minnow could take a punt at yeah. Shimoza. And what you do not want at the minute is Mori. Although, to be fair, Mori's, I think, on a little bit on the back foot. There's the question how defensive we want to go. 
Well, we can wait one more turn to this because this could break his faction. Yeah. So shall we wait until? Uh, also, you've got to remember that um, Oda is still at the top there. Now, although we haven't actually had much to do with Oda, um, he is a yeah. fairly he's a fairly weak. Well, we could. Um, I mean, I mean, the question is, it's like the fairly uh, weak. The problem is, we're, we'll pull these out, bring these to there, yeah. make sure that's got a good garrison. But that, to be fair, that might be enough to. To arguably sort of say push on on Hida. Yeah. Okay, let's just wait this one turn and then or see what Hida. Hida. Yeah, it's let's see what happens. We've got superior farmland, build the port. Still need to see if you can find. Uh... So two turns for that. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. So uh, don't forget sort out your emissary first. See if you can find. You need to find. Um... Is that is leader? Yeah. So we go to the yeah. Go to mainline. You, yeah. You just you're gonna have to move that around quite a bit. <sighs> it's gonna be a big battle next. I think we're gonna go for these rebels. Okay. Yeah. We'll drop. Yeah. We'll drop a unit. Oh god. Yeah. Spearmen definitely. in there. Warrior monks are gonna be. There, and that's going to be it, I think. Spare dojo. Yeah, the castle's dropped, as you can see. Oh, 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 oh. so we don't like my embassy. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. Is he going to get in? Oh. He's, I think he's got him. I've got a sneaking feeling he's got him. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. Gonna have to build another one. That's a pain in the ass. Nobody wants me snooping. No, no. That's all it means. Snooping. Okay, so we've got 700 against their 500. We should do this. We've got warrior monks. We've got the crack troops. I think the problem is I sent too many cheap archers and mm. thing at his forces. Light rain. Try one day. <clears throat> what no. Was it? Uh, no. No! Oh, heavy rain! Yeah, light, light rain! rain. Let's yeah. get back to that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what was the size of the, their force? Sorry, I missed it. 500, but... <laughs> the size of ours? 900 something, but they defended very well last time. They did. Oh, they're in the hit, they're in this bush to the... They're in the trees! Again, it, it did it well last game. Yeah. Nope, sorry, they're not in the trees. They're, <laughs> they're, I thought they were in the trees there. They're not in the trees! If you see the trees, they're definitely not in them. No, there's some in the trees. You can see the splashes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're playing the long game. Well, they will. They're defending. Taking forward to. Question is, do I go up the hill, kill the guys on the hill, and come guy come down to the guys in, in this bush? Here? I I think so. If you go up that hill and then you you come down, you're only giving them one. You're only giving them one advantage, and that is the advantage there with the trees. One thing I will say. That I think uh, Mr. B and uh, myself were talking about after we uh, recorded session one. Was you're definitely more of the micromanage every single unit type thing, uh, type player. Whereas Mr. B is very much kind of like I've got a rough idea of what I want the the army to do. I'm just going to tell them to do that. If that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Which, which I think Mr. B sort of uh, realised was kind of like I think. Where'd they go? Oh, where did they go? Which, uh, yeah, which I think is why Mr. B thought that um, your style of play was obviously very different to his in the long term of this, of season two of Dictatorial. Oh, the, the, they've ambushed me, they're out of the woods, again! Oh no, Dickie, you've just run, run around too quickly. Okay, so where are they? They're in, they're straight ahead. Okay. So we're going to hopefully run these guys all the way back out again. 
Yeah, get as many um, warrior monks are going to go in. Oh god, yeah, send your warrior monks yeah. in. Oh, there's some samurai archers there. So I thought we were going to send this cavalry around to this right side. I don't know how many other units are in this thing. I think that could be all of them. Oh, that's their mine. So, I think we're going to move around and form back up to attack the guys on the lesser mm -hmm. hill. That's them. God, I'm sure there's nobody else in here. Yeah, not like there's anyone else in here. <clears throat> Hot news from the front of Mr. B. <laughs> yes, he seems to have control over the right side of the map. I fear I'm going to struggle to do better than him. You're laying down the gauntlet, all right, Dicky? Oh, he's laid it down. Oh, that was <laughs> that was a bit cheeky. I, I got a bit cocky there. Yeah. <laughs> but this guy's about. To oh get... yeah, you've got one one set of uh, rooting rooting archers. That's which is not what you want there's, in the world. There's, rooting there's, archers. There's two men, two of them. This is two. Yeah, Billy. Oh, yeah, men. Two, yeah, two men. Oh. Further news from the. So we all have the, we do have the advantage here. <laughs> I even have my samurai sword with me and supplies from Little Bakery. Oh no! Uh, we had his crumpets though. Yeah, we had his crumpets. Oh, there is one or two units hiding in the woods. Are they going to make an appearance? I think they are. Oh, they're getting chased by their troops. Oh, where'd they guys come from? Oh, gee Louise. One unit that's just randomly attacked me on this rear side. I think we are happily uh, finishing them off now, though. If you're going to let us shoot, yeah, we shall shoot you. Oh, the two men have rallied. Oh, they've rallied. Oh, they're just letting me shoot them now. <laughs> I thought it was probably only fair to warn Mr. B that, <laughs> that the entirety of this text conversation is played out on, on camera. <laughs> It'd be fine with that. Oh, they're chasing me. Damn, damn dirty rebels. Now you've got a higher kill ratio, so... So we are sitting on this hill as well, waiting for the rest of their army to... Seems like it's trying to come out and engage me. There is one or two units, so there's a lot of time. Mm. But they're... Oh, they're the cheap, the cheap infantrymen. So we are now just sat down, firing at their troops. But we caught them, finally. So hopefully these guys can come back to the battle. What are your... Um, what's your daimyo and the... Yeah, they... They're just, chaps just sitting there waiting because sit they are spearmen though, they will wreck my day. Yeah. That, that's their general. Their general slowly worked his way. Right, charge him now. We'll keep these two units in, 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 uh, to, to stay there for reinforcement, mm. but we'll just continue to shoot away. Oh, he's 
these warrior monks are beasts, aren't they? I think uh, Mr. B might just beat me on time for the game. I think he may beat the game before I do. I don't, I don't know, because the, be, effectively, because the two of you have, have taken such alternate paths, I think fundamentally you've ended up doing what Mr. B's plan is anyway, which is take northern Japan. Mm. We, Because uh, I think I thought you were going to push for more middle and southern Japan. Um, it ended a lot quicker than I expected. I mean, that yeah. the blue guys died a lot quicker than I expected. Yeah, but they're they're effectively fighting on the front of not only not only ourselves, so Takeda. They've also got Moru to worry about, and they've also got Oda to worry about. Mm. I don't know necessarily where our, our next foe it's, it's lies. Mori will be the next. No, no, Mori's our ally. I don't think we we don't want to be the ones to break the alliance. I think we need to push, realistically, probably, sadly, going to have to, sadly, <laughs> going to have to push on Oda, I think, first. We have obviously got to worry about um, the Greens, because they are... Ooh. Two units in there, and I think I could lose through time. I don't know, I think if you push on them... Oh, he's been killed. He has been killed. You push on them. I think that you've got a better kill ratio at the minute, and so I think we just sit there shooting them up, then, don't we? Well, no, because the problem is they're hiding in the woods, so it's del it's not going to have. Uh... Well, we'll form up in front of these archers, then yeah. the archers hit them again. Your um, your archers are a bit buggered as far as the woods are concerned. You could send your warrior monks in. They are beastie foes. They, they, they are. are. They are. I like warrior monks. Yeah, they are starting to come out now. Well, they've got the cheap Yaragashi. Mm. How do you pronounce it? Yari? Yashigari. Uh, oh, sorry, the Yari sounds yeah. right. So we're going to form everybody up closer. Oh, as, well, as far as my pronunciation goes, and I'm sure Mr. B will tell me I'm pronouncing it her her horrendously incorrectly. They don't have any. Oh, is that archers? Nope. Just some cheap infantry, really. For uh, for Mr. B's amusement when he watches this video, I'm just going to pronounce the word Okiyamieki again, because I pronounce it horrendously, and he loves the fact that I can't say it, say it Well, right. they are coming out to engage us, so we're just going to engage on the hill and finish them off. Nice. Fix, nice done. flank, and finish. Nice. Not um, overcome, adapt, survive. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got this. It's just, it's just. Oh, I, oh yeah, I think, it's just yeah, taking I think time. Got I just it, can't yeah. believe we got what before. I think I didn't have enough forces, as in. Well, law of averages, you're you're bound to lose one one battle. Right, we're we free to fast forward this just uh, a little bit, and I think now it's going to be all my infantry walking through the woods. Unless they've got some other units hidden somewhere, but I think you've pretty much polished them all off. They'll have like one man, one man hidden somewhere, because... Get him, get him, go on. Send, send your cavalry after him. Oh yeah, that's, 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 not, that's not a bad point, actually. There's one unit in the woods. You can see him. Everybody, lads. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just stand in there. Yeah, because yeah, all you have to do is hide. Yeah. And as far as time goes, you are on the back foot now. Yeah. So. Have they run away? Yep. There we go, then Cabri should finish them off. Oh, there we go. Boom. That's 480 to 148. That does secure us that big bit of land. It is. And yeah. it's that, literally, that's been the niggle in the whole foot the entire game, is that yeah, one little province. Yeah. But we are having to siege them out. You are going to have to siege them. They like um, the Greens have sent sh sh there. The Greens have sent over their emissaries. So. Ooh. Oh, Maurice's son. Oh, Maurice's son's come of age. Okay. Of course, our son has come of age, ready to serve him. So we just have so, to siege so this. So effectively, the Greens have two daimyos, and Mori has got two daimyos. So yeah, sadly, I don't know why I keep saying sadly, it's not like I have any affinity to Oda, but Lord Oda is definitely the next target. 
So I think now it's consolidate, consolidate all our forces back up the map yeah. onto these three provinces and it's going to be just uh, hopefully a, st a steamroll of like two or three battles. Well, my actual hope is if we do, if we do go for Odin next, my hope would be that possibly um, Shimosa or the Greens, I mean, so I'm probably saying it wrong, uh, have got Wasagari at the top mm. of the map. If they've got it, that means we could push on them before we have to push on Mori. Yeah, Mori will be a four in my side. The only issue is I'm going to have to go around him, but that stretches my flank out even more. Yeah, because I'm going to have to keep my guard up against him. Yeah, regardless yeah, you, if, yeah, you have got to hope that he doesn't suddenly turn on. Because you. he could, he could turn me. Oh, we could go Citadel. Yeah, go for it. I think we should. Although it is, that is more money than we have actually got at the minute, Citadel. Uh, 50, 1,500? Yeah, 1,500. We've only got 5,000. Yeah. Oh no, sorry, it's not, is it? Yeah, could just have a famous armory, get some better units. Could do. Uh, I'll a swordsman. I'll. Uh, I think you need to. Oh, you possibly? Yeah, I would possibly go for a sword dojo. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good then. No, Dachi samurai are actually are actually quite good. Let's just start hitting the units up again. We're just yeah, gonna. Yeah. Have... Yeah, get your get your build queues in order and your training queues in order. We do have big armies here now. We do mm. have. It's probably it's like you said. The, you get yeah. The, now now is the time to start considering where what we're actually going to push it on. It could next. be. It could be the who are these? Uh, no, uh, Oda. Oda. Who is Oda allied to? Because I think Oda is. See, Oda's at war with, but he's Mar allied with the um, the blues who I'm killing anyway. Who yeah. have nearly gone anyway. So I think it's Oda. And we're going to you've, kill the you've got to you've got to finish off uh, Usagari. Uh, so I think we're going to play this end this turn. Yeah. And I think maybe the next. No, find, we'll find out what state your build queues in. Okay, we'll uh, sort of quick. So it's, that's not worth it, was it? No. No. Not really. It's just a. Uh, no. Uh, no. Sixty. Build, definitely. Yeah, it's building anyway. Sixty. Yep. Yeah, yeah, definitely get that one it. in. Yep. Uh, 20. Uh, I think you could also build a port in there I as well. I think a port and then we port stick it on. Yeah. That's just going to benefit us in turn. 60%. Oh, yes, please. Uh, 20. No. So let's have a cut of units. So, so I have just warned Mr. Barker that the uh, it, the entirety of this text conversation is uh, is playing out on camera. Uh, his response is, well, in that case, you better tell Mr. Dicky, it's got with two eyes, it's got with three eyes, sorry, <laughs> uh, that it's game on. Mr. B versus Mr. York, cavalry versus spearmen, brains versus jellies and wellies. <laughs> who's bringing Je the who's sorry, jeans and wellies. Who's bringing the jeans and wellies? Who's, yeah, who's in, who's. So, uh, disappointing news, the clan is the most advanced in all Japan, no collective development. Oh, we're a bit... Oh, Shimazu clan, yeah. yeah. Oh, so uh, the fortress is about to fall. Oh, wow, that's big. Really... The supplies are likely to last until the second, uh, into a second year. Oh, oh you bastard. Yeah, but it, it's been there for a while, so that was always going to be a difficult... Okay, this is the turn, I think. What, push on Haida? Yep. I think we need a mix of infantry and cavalry. I don't think we can go for just. Uh... So we've got three large armies here. Okay. We've got two slightly armed. So I think the bigger one will go in. We've got enough to spread around. I think we've got True. a big army, big army. Uh, uh, big yeah, I am wondering if now is the is the time to have a push on. Oda. On Oda. I think Oda will be next. I think after him. We we could because we'll, we'll, literally we'll only have two provinces against. Yeah, him. but why bother waiting? There, you've got enough men there to push into. It's just in case this goes sour. Yeah, but I don't. Um, mm. oh, I, oh, I'm just I'm just playing caution to the wind. I'm, I'm caution to the wind. You can move that. You can move those guys. The guys in Dewa. Yeah, and move them as well. I think I want to take this first, and then I'll we'll okay. decide what happens. There. But yeah, I see your point. We do yeah. have enough men because he could attack me. But then I've got other armies to push yeah. over. I mean, once we've killed him, move move them into there just in case they get any. Okay, yeah. that's a, that's enough. Oh, this yeah. is going to be a big battle. 
Oh dear, oh dear, we've suddenly gone from having a lot to having none at all. Oh, the superior farmland's been built. Oh no, the money's gone. Uh, yeah, the money, yeah. <laughs> it's just rolling in it again, it's alright. Oh, oh, Maury's come to help us. Uh, is he... Has he? Yeah. Allied force 180! Maury! Yes! My get brother! <laughs> my <laughs> brother from another mother! <laughs> it's took you like five million years to come and help me after backstabbing me, but yes. never mind! <laughs> Playing caution to the wind indeed. Is this push from Dicky too little too late? And would Mr B go round an enemy? Is Mr York's unwillingness to strongly push forward weakening him in the long run? Keep an eye on the Dictatorial Season 2 to find out. You've made it to the end of the video, thank you so much, it really means a lot to myself, Mr B and Dicky. If you want to see how the campaign continues, please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you're not sick of seeing our faces and our British accents, why not check out our individual channels. Mr B teaches ukulele over at Mr B's ukulele channel. And Dicky is a tabletop wargamer over at Richard York's Wargaming, where no wargame remains unplayed. And me, I love me some retro video games. You've been watching Dictatorial Season 2 and we shall see you tomorrow.